So starting July 18th, we get the return of Steven, and best part, it starts off, it's start, it's the start, bleh, it's the start of a entire Steven bomb, and from there, it'll be finally a weekly new episode, um, every week, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing a shit ton of episode reviews. Now, yes, I did watch, um, the new, I did give in and watch the leaked episode Steven Floats, so you won't see it when the show premieres and it starts with that episode, you won't be seeing a review from me on that. But, yeah, I did give in to weakness and <laughs> more or less uh, watch that. And it was a fun episode. Not much I could say about it. But, yeah, I just wa I wanted to talk about because finally Steven's getting, you know, the whole summer of Steven that has been pushed back constantly. And this is the biggest crux for Cartoon Network is that they don't know what the hell they're doing in terms of scheduling. I mean, even the guys at Steven Universe are like, we don't know what the fuck's going on there. So, yeah. So finally, I guess for um, what I assume is rest of July and maybe to early August, we're getting new episodes of Steven Universe, and yeah, I could not be more excited. Um, we do get, uh, we have gotten some new clips of like Peridot finding like a toy alien that looks, it's, if you didn't think that looked like Zim, then I don't know what's wrong with you. It, I mean, yeah, it's, it looks like a, a typical gray alien, but yeah, let's face it, that was a reference to Zim. That was a total reference to Zim. And, um, uh, there was also another, uh, clip they showed of Peridot, uh, getting into, like, putting on a new, what I only assume is, like, some kind of tablet of some sort on her arm, and she does all these <laughs> moves like a Super Sentai character. <laughs> yeah. So maybe Peridot's making her own makeshift limb enhancers? Because, yeah, she now has a touchscreen, even though it's a little more downgraded. She now has a touchscreen again, so maybe she, you know, throughout that episode, it's gonna, we're gonna be following her making some homemade uh, limb enhancers for herself. Which, um, I'd be cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Um, we also get to see other clips of just Steven having a lot of fun. We also get the return of Stevani with a, wearing a jacket, which Connie was wearing, and the jacket actually looks a little similar to her dad's jacket, so I'm wondering if her dad is going to play a big part in this, because now that her mom know, yeah, she told her mom what's been going on, but her, do we, did, did the wife not tell her, him about, you know, tell, you know, did the wife not tell her husband, hey, our daughter's going on magical journeys and being trained, trained by one of the de gems, so, I don't know, maybe this is also how he found, how they, how the Maheshwars find out about Stephen and Connie's fusion, which I can only imagine how well they'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, um, we do get to see like Stephen and Con uh, Stephen and Lapis on like a boat, and Lapis actually being happy instead of uh, the uh, Lapis su uh, Sundre we've been seeing. <laughs> yeah, um, we get to see not Sundre Lapis, and yeah, um, nothing with Jasper. Although with these, typically with these promos, they just show all the fun stuff and keep all the feels stuff um, out of it. They usually keep a majority of the feels stuff out of the episodes. They usually keep a lot of that in the promos. They just want to show, hey, look at Steven Universe. It's so fun. It's so fluffy. You're going to have a good time. No, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> you're going to have a few, you're going to go on a feels trip. I feel like the last time they did a promo that was kind of dark was In Too Deep, and that was really it. And, yeah. Um, trust me, it worked. The In Too Deep event um, really did work, so... Um, hats off to them, and the promo was pretty dark. This one's more going back to the lighthearted. And even though we know about Stephen Floats and a little from the pics and clips of Peridot, which I assume is, yeah, Peridot is now trying to win, like, a like a little alien for herself, like a new buddy. <laughs> oh, man, I already see the shipping now of Peridot X blow-up toy. That came out wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it to go like that. Anyway, um, not really much else I can say about this, really. There's not really a whole lot I can say other than I'm excited to see, you know, Steven Universe come back, and on a weekly basis, finally, a weekly basis? That's been, like, that's every, well, like, Teen Titans Go, regular show, and all the other shows in general have all quintessentially gotten, like, weekly new episode stuff, except Steven Universe, and now we're finally getting it. Thank you, finally, Cartoon Network. You gave us the one show that we actually wanted to get weekly new episodes. I kind of feel like, um... <laughs> and I've seen this on Tumblr. I saw a little, um, a piece of artwork on Tumblr once. 
um, of <laughs> of a Cartoon Network like st- like a C- a Cartoon Network executive standing over Steven Universe content a, a you know a huge well that says Steven Universe car- uh, uh, Steven Universe content and people <laughs> like little people. Uh, down below going, please give us content. It was so much like the uh, scene with the Morton Joe handing out water to uh, to everyone in Fury Road. And all I can think is, do not get a, uh, do not become addicted to water, my friends. Or something like that. But anyway, yeah, it reminded me of Mad Max. I was like, Immortan! <laughs> God, I could be so... <laughs> God, I love that movie. Anyway, so you guys tell me, what do you guys think of the Summer of Steven event, or whatever the hell they're calling it? The writers called it Summer of Steven, which we're finally getting, and yeah, what do you want to see in terms of episodes? Uh, Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.